So how do we stop being fat? I think this first, the first thing I want to say is the more that you wrap up fat in candy the, uh, and make it all sweetness and light, the less impact uh, or, or less motivation you are going to feel uh, if you want to stop being fat. What I mean by that is one of the things that you do not want to do is to make it all too, um, how would I describe that? How would I describe this with uh, sort of sensitively, but to the point, I guess what I'm saying is you have to take a really good look at yourself and your habits. And also the big elephant in the room, of course, is excuses. So, because one of the things that we are really good at as a human being is making every excuse in the cookbook for not being slim and continuing to live the fat life, which you know, as well as I know, is not good for our physical health. However, the bit that often gets missed is it is not good for our mental health. So on a practical level, how do you stop being fat? Number one, I'm going to give you three things here, right? Maybe maybe five. In fact, it will be five. So much to say. Number one, stop dieting. Don't do it. Waste of time, in my opinion. You'll feel like you're in a straitjacket. You will get ultimately completely pissed off because all you'll be thinking about is food, food, food. The problem with a diet is automatically you are programmed to think more about food. Let's face it. That's been the problem. You may have been obsessed with food. Ditch the diet. Number two, start living 80-20. What do I mean by that? Living 80% well. So when your, your intake is 80% healthily, and if you don't know what to eat, get onto Google. Just Google it because you'll find lots of good stuff. If you type, if you type in things like, you know, what healthy food should I eat to be uh to be slimmer? And you will get millions of results on that. So 80% eating well, 20% a bit of what you fancy. You don't want to deny yourself. So if you like on a Friday night to have a curry and wash it down with a bottle of wine, you should be able to do that, right? Yeah, fair enough. So 80-20 is number two. Number three, number three is to mentally implement what I call the carrot and the stick style of motivation. So you don't just, fluffy motivation to lose weight can work well, but usually doesn't do the job in full. So what I encourage you to do is to be very strong with yourself. So for example, one of the things that I may do to continue my motivation to not be fat or too fat is to look at my old fat photo. That's a bit of a, a finger wag stick. The carrot, however, may be that item of clothing that you want to get into that you actually hang up that makes you feel pretty good and motivated to eat less, eat better and move more. That's uh, that sort of strap line that we all know we should live to. Right. So motivation number three. Number four, find some purpose in life. Find some aspirational purpose. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is to identify something in life that makes you feel good, that gives you a purpose, that gets you out of the bed each day with a sense of uh, purpose and enthusiasm and, uh, and an excitement to live, right? Because what you want to do is nourish your mind as well as your belly. Number five, final point on this video is to ditch the drains and surround yourself with radiators. You may have heard that saying before, right? What do I mean by that? I mean to ditch everybody in life that drains you, that bores you, that adds no value to your life. Because often what can happen, of course, is their stuff can become our stuff, which means we want to shove a donut in our gob just for some sense of comfort and escape. So ditch the drains and surround your people with surround yourself with radiators. Those people that inspire you, that motivate you, that fuel your mind, rather than the drains who prefer to fuel your belly. On that note, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Feel free to leave a comment below, and uh, of course, like the video too. On that note, you have a good day, and remember, you are too gorgeous to be fat. Right, I'm off. I need, I need a cuppa. Ta-ra for now.